Next is domain relational calculus. The second form of relation is known as domain relational calculus. In domain relational calculus, filtering variable use the domain of attributes. Domain relational calculus uses the same operator as tuple calculus, which we have discussed right now. It is the logic connectives. These are the logic connectives for AND, this is for OR, and this is for NOT. These are the logic connectives used in domain relational calculus. It uses extension E and universal quantifiers for all to bind the particular variable. Now, where are A? A1 are the attributes. P stands for the formula built in variables for this notation. Now, in domain calculus, the records are filtered based on the domains. For example, this is a student table having first name, last name and the age. So, find the first name and age of student where student age is greater than 27. So, first name, comma age, we have to find from student and then we have to find the age which is greater than 27. Here, we have used the AND operator and for the condition, we have used here OR operators and then the greater than symbol as we have to fetch the age which is greater than. So, this is how we can write the queries for domain relational calculus with the help of logic connectives and the quantifiers. Similarly, there are other queries and examples which can be done. For example, find the loan number, branch, loan amount greater than or equal to 100 as the amount. So, this is how it can be fetched from the loan amount which is greater than or equal to 100 and then the tuple is visible to you or set of tuples is visible to you. For more queries, you can refer to the tutorial and we will look for other objectives of domain calculus in our coming videos. Thank you.